APH, Brennan, Cuborhythm, Slate, and Cubes. The Brennan Cuborhythm Slate and Cubes is a product from APH which can be used to teach younger students how to align mathematical problems without using paper. Users can practice aligning addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and fractions. While this is recommended for ages 6 and up, it could be used with anyone who needs additional practice aligning math problems. It would be a great tool to use when introducing spatially aligned mathematics problems. The Brennan Cuborhythm Slate and Cubes must be purchased separately through APH. The Cuborhythm Slate is made up of two parts, the slate frame and the cubes. First, we will cover the slate frame. The slate frame is made of rubber and composed of 256 nests or cups as they are sometimes referred. The nests are arranged in a 16 by 16 grid pattern. Vertically, the rows are labeled with letters and horizontally, the rows are labeled with numbers. The letter rows are sequentially lettered A through P. The number rows are numbered 1 through 16 sequentially. The upper left square is A1. The lower left square is P16. When ordering cubes, must be purchased separately. 100 cubes are sent per order. These six-sided cubes have braille configurations to make numbers 0 through 9 and the dot configuration for the letter O. The cubes contain no print material. Each cube is made up of six sides. Side 1 has one braille dot. Side 2 has two braille dots. Side 3 has 4 braille dots, side 4 has 2 braille dots, side 5 has 4 dots, side 6 has 3 dots. These cubes are used to form numbers on the cube slate. Side 1 of the cube is used to make either number 1 or a mathematical comma depending on how the cube is turned. Side 2 of the cube is used to make either number 2, 3, or a dash to use as a separation line in the math problem. Side 3 of the cube is used to make either number 4, 6, 8, or 0 depending on how the cube is turned. Side 4 of the cube is used to make either number 5 or number 9 again depending on the cube's position. Side 5 of the cube is used to make number 7. Side 6 of the cube is used to make an up or down arrow, the division symbol, or as a placeholder for an operation sign. It is important to note the Cuborhythm Slate is a product that is open to the user's own interpretation and imagination. It is designed to help each individual understand how to align problems, so what works for one user may not work for another. The first examples we will do will be the examples APH provides. Let's start with addition. We will add 123 plus 456 plus 789. Again, letters A through P run vertically down the left side of the cube slate and numbers 1 through 16 run horizontally across the top. First, we will set the numbers 1, 2, 3 in cups A7, A8, and A9. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with cubes in cups A7, A8, and A9. Next, we will set the numbers 4, 5, 6 in cups B7, B8, and B9. These cups are directly underneath the 1, 2, 3 we set in the last step. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate 
with cubes in cup B7, B8, and B9, as well as the cubes set in the previous step. Third, we will set the numbers 7, 8, 9 in cups C7, C8, and C9. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with cubes in cup C7, C8, and C9, as well as the cubes added in the previous two steps. We are going to skip setting D7, D8, and D9, but we will return to it after. Starting in E, set cubes 1, 3, 6, 8 in E6, E7, E8, and E9. This is the total to the numbers above. Notice the numbers are lined up on the right just as they would be in print or in braille. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with cubes in cup E6, E7, E8, and E9. Return to D. We will set dashes which are made up of dots 3, 6, in cups D5, D6, D7, D8, and D9. This is the line of separation between the terms to be added and the results. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with cubes in cup D5, D6, D7, D8, and D9. The terms to be added should be above the separation line and the total should be below the separation line. Note that there is no sign to indicate the operation to be performed. Also, the separation line does not extend past the numbers on the right, as it would if we followed the rules of Braille. Again, the cube slate is made for the user's interpretation and imagination. As a teacher, I would most likely have my students extend the separation line to cell 10 for consistency. Fractions are shown on the cube slate spatially by placing the whole number online while the numerator is one digit above to the right and the denominator is one digit below to the right. The whole number is aligned with the blank space between the numerator and denominator. If it is a pure fraction, it can be shown with the numerator on a line with the denominator two lines below. A blank line should be between the numerator and denominator. Now, let's set 22 and 5 sevenths on the cube slate. In spaces G7 and G8, set the number 22. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with cubes in cup G7 and G8. Next, we will set the numerator to the right and up one space. This will put the number 5 in F9. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with a cube in F9 as well as the whole number previously set. Next, we will set the denominator to the right and down one space. This will put the number 7 in H9. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with a cube and cup H9 as well as the whole number and numerator. Now, we will try a problem not provided by APH. Remember, the cube slate is to align problems, not solve them. Because of this, when setting the problem on the cube slate, we will only display the problem, answer, and at times, the separator line. To align a division problem, we will use 12 divided by 3. First, we set the division sign, which is the letter O, in Braille in cup F7. To the left of the sign in F6, we set the divisor 3. To the right of the sign in F8 and F9, we set the dividend of 12. 
The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with a cube and cup F6, F7, F8, and F9. Now we will set the solution since we are only aligning and not solving. We will skip row E and in D9 we will set the solution of 4. The row between the problem and the solution should be empty. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with a cube in cup D9 as well as the previously set cubes. Return to row E to set the separation line. In cups E8, E9, and E10, set the dash dots 3, 6 to form the line to separate the problem from the solution. The cube slate should now look like the pictured cube slate with a cube in cup E8, E9, E10, as well as the previously set cubes. I did choose to extend the separator line out past the numbers since this is what we do when aligning in Nemeth. In the subtraction demonstration, 43 is subtracted from 522. First, 522 is set in A7, A8, and A9. Then, 43 is set in B8 and B9. Row C is skipped, and in row D, the solution 479 is set in D7, D8, and D9. Now, return to row C and set the separation line in C6, C7, C8, and C9. Now, the problem is aligned to read 522 minus 43 equals 479. In the multiplication demonstration, 135 is multiplied by 7. First, 135 is set in D7, D8, and D9. Then, 7 is set in E9. Row F is skipped, and in row G, the solution 945 is set in G7, G8, and G9. Now, return to row F and set the separation line in F6, F7, F8, and F9. Now the problem is aligned to read 135 times 7 equals 945. As mentioned earlier in the presentation, we may use the O symbol for any operation sign as needed or as we interpret. Therefore, the O sign is set to the left of the multiplier in E8. Again, this is not required, but a personal interpretation of how the problem would be set up to help students become more familiar with the correct alignment in Braille. The Brennan cube rhythm and cubes are sold separately. However, when purchasing both, you will receive the cube rhythm slate, 100 cubes, instructions in print, and instructions in braille. To order this product and other products from APH, please visit the website listed. For customer service and orders, you may also call the number listed.